how to make tagged lists on World Anvil. Tag lists are an incredibly handy little feature in World Anvil. They allow you to create dynamic lists that adapt and change as your content grows. You could do this just by utilizing the tags feature. So first of all, to add tags to articles, uh, you could do that here in the tags field or over in the articles and categories interface. When you select an article, you can see there's a tags option there. So let's say I want a list of all of my session reports. I'm going to put it in the sidebar. So I'm going to sections sidebar top and I'm going to use the tagged BB code tagged colon and then I'm going to input the tag that I want to show underneath, the type of tag and the title that I want to show. For example, tagged and then session report is the tag I'm using. The type is a list. I'll get more into that in a minute. This is the title I want to show. And this is how it looks in the view mode. You can see I've got my title here and I have my first four session reports showing up here in a list. As I add more session reports to World Anvil and I tag them with the correct tag, they'll show up here. Tag lists can be really useful for a variety of things. Player options, spells, potions, item lists, a list of weapons that your players can use, a list of armor your players could use. You might use them to create quick lists of species that you can use in combat scenes. Uh, you could also use them for access options if you want to publicly display a list. For example, you could show everybody this is a complete list of all of the Patreon only content. Of course, if you use subscriber groups, that will be set up so that only the Patreons can actually access it. It's a great way to showcase how much exclusive content you have to tempt people to subscribe. If you want your list to show up as article blocks instead as as a clean list of hyperlinks, you could do that like this. I've gone in and where it said list before, I've instead added block. And that's going to mean it shows up like this. Take it back to list, do a little refresh. And you can see again, it's back to that list format. And of course, maybe I don't want it to appear with a title. In that case, in the title section, I'm just going to write none. And you can see the list appears now without a title. And finally, one for my RPG beans especially. Did you know you can also create tagged lists of stat blocks? Here is the basic formula, tagged blocks, colon, tag, colon, title. And yes, it works in exactly the same way. So I might go tag blocks, dragon, which is the tag that I want to list. And then the title is all the dragons, because why not? And here's how it looks. You can see all of the dragon stat blocks in my world have been listed here. And as I add more stat blocks using the dragon tag, those will appear here too. Once again, that's tagged blocks, colon, dragon, pipe, all the dragons, tag and title. I'll be sharing these snippets in the description underneath, as well as linking in a full guide to the tagged blocks and tagged lists type. They really are fantastically useful. Let me know how you're using them. And uh, if you want any more videos on any other subjects. Yeah, I think that's all from me. Grab your hammer and go world build.